Hey guys, Gary Dean, detailjuice.com, resetchargers.com. I'm about to basically tell you a little story. I'm doing this new thing now. This is the number volume one of uh, story, story time with Gary Dean or story time with GMFD, whatever you want to call it. So we'll say uh, story time with Gary Dean. So as you guys know, well, anybody who's been following me for a while, I've had this 1980 El Camino for about five years and she's my pride and joy. Recently, she sat in the uh, mechanic shop for uh, four months. Man, it's a huge story. So let me just uh, go back a little bit. So about a year and a half ago, I had this engine completely built from the block up and it was amazing. I got the motor running right finally. I mean, we the heads were brand new, but the valve seals were bad from the get-go. They used a shitty kit, and anyway, he had to redo that. I finally got all of the all the the loose ends ironed out on this engine, and it was amazing. I mean, it was truly a powerhouse. It was awesome. It ran good. It felt good. It was smooth. Then I had a problem. So I had it probably, everything was dialed in and then we did some work on the transmission. It's got a 700 R4. It's pretty badass. And then I moved to the rear end. Well, I had already had the rear end done with a Posi and 342 gears. I wanted to go with a taller gear to get more low end torque. So that's what we did. We ended up putting in a uh, 410 gear, uh, has Posi. Uh, 28 spline axles, new bearings, brand new rear end, brand new transmission, brand new engine. Things were awesome. I drove it one day, I pulled up at, the, at a stoplight, a guy with a Dodge Dart, an old school, nice looking Dodge Dart pulled up next to me, started chatting me up about the car. And he was like, let's hit it. I said, okay, cool. So I stabbed that gas pedal and I took off like a bat out of hell and those BF Goodwrench tires I have, hooked up nicely after just a slight slip and she pulled so hard it was amazing and then all of a sudden i let off the gas and the motor started running like shit. didn't know what was going on so i pulled over couldn't see what was going on heard a bunch of noise it was still running just didn't make any power so i was like screw it i limped it the half a mile to my mechanic and left it there. Turns out, now let me show you this stupid shit. So this is a uh, 93 roller uh, Corvette 350, board to 355. Um, it has Vortec heads, um, shorty headers, uh, full AC system, everything's brand new. Uh, it's got, it now has a, I forgot the cam specs. I can get those for you if you're interested. But, uh, anyway, long story short, this threaded rod goes into the top of the carburetor. Let me show you. So, what a pain in the ass. So, this wing nut is pretty standard. And you've got your air intake right here. Okay. Okay. So that comes right off like that. And then you've got your carburetor. Now, before on the other engine, this is a Holley uh, 750 double pumper. Uh, some will say that's too big a carburetor uh, for a 350. I beg to differ. Um, it runs amazing. Um, I forgot what jets. We're still, so it's not done yet. I'm actually, I have it now because I'm breaking it in to put 500 miles on it. The biggest problem now is we got the same freaking valve um, valve seal problem. It smokes a little bit, so he's going to rip the heads off and redo the valve seals again. Well, I say this is the first time. Well, it should be the second time because, you know, obviously uh, everything's assembled now. Uh, but anyway, those have to be redone because it smokes a little bit when you start it up. Uh, we're also putting a quick, quick fuel 650 uh, double pumper on here. Uh, so that should give me a little bit more, a um, little bit more juice. But this threaded rod right here, something happened when I hit the throttle and that bitch broke off 
fell down into the carburetor, down into the intake, down into the engine, and it trashed four of eight cylinders. So now, four months ago, I had this bad boy rip back out, had the uh, block all gone through, um, they ended up sleeving all the cylinders, which, you know, is stronger now than it was before. Um, which, and then we, we did, uh, forged pistons this time, cause I may go with a 150 shot of nitrous. I'm not sure. So it's built for that. If I want to do it, uh, I may not, I don't need that much power. Um, it's fun as shit to drive right now, but as far as, uh, the motor goes, it is sleeved. Um, we've got forged pistons and we had hyper Eutechnic, uh, before, which are still really good but they're not as good as forged. Uh, forged will hold up to um, basically aftermarket airflow, if you will. Turbos, supercharger, nitrous, better than Hypertechnic and the uh, standard, I guess, steel. Um, anyway, I, I just know a little bit about this stuff. That's why, you know, and, and generally I do a lot of this mechanic stuff with myself. I just don't have time. So anyway, that threaded rod broke off. This guy here broke off and fell into the, into the engine. Apparently that happens sometimes. I don't know, pisses me off. It is what it is. Co cost me thousands of dollars to rebuild the engine again. But we upgraded the, uh, we upgraded the cam. I am going to upgrade the heads as well. And then that's probably not gonna be for a while. In fact, uh, these heads I may use on my Corvette uh, just because uh, the ones that are on the Corvette are not Vortec, uh, and these are. So these are the Australian Vortec heads. Anyway, I'm not going to get too specific, but we've got full AC system. Everything's awesome. It runs great right now, um, with the exception of just the little bit of smoke. But that threaded rod was the problem. That's why I had to have this whole thing ripped out and rebuilt. And so now it's back together. It is running properly. The air is ice cold. Um, the 410 gear is a perfect match for my setup. Awesome low end torque. I did not lose. I maybe lost 200 RPM on the high end. Um, but I'm very, very happy with just the setup. Uh, 355, 700 R4 with a shift kit and bigger than normal valves. Um, I may end up doing MSD ignition. I am going to do um, better heads on this car and I'm definitely going to go with that quick fuel, quick fuel 650. Uh, it's actually being rebuilt right now. So as soon as that gets rebuilt and then we, you know, figure out what jets are the best and get it all dialed in and put the heads on, we should be awesome. But anyway, it's my ADL Camino. I'm a little upset with uh, a door ding that I got recently. I did not do it. It was at my mechanic shop, but my paintless dent re repair guy is pretty fantastic. So uh, he'll get that straightened out. But anyway, that's story time with Gary Dean. This story was on my uh, ADL Camino. Uh, I've got more things that I'm going to do to this thing. Like I said, I've got to do redo the the window seals, um, I do want to pull the door panels off and uh, adjust the windows. Um, I have them adjusted so that these seals work okay, but they're just a little bit overextended in my opinion. So I'm going to uh, adjust the windows and then put the new window seals in. I still need to build my speaker box and stuff. I've got a stereo system in there, but Anyway, that's it. I also am going to put another coat of this Herculiner on. I'll actually do a, a video review of uh, three or four years I've had that Herculiner on and you can see it's not looking awesome. And I don't, I don't use this car all the time. So I'm not incredibly happy with the Herculiner. However, the kit is $100. It'll probably take me, I don't know, two, three hours just to recode it myself with the brush or with the uh, roller. But anyway, that's my ADL Camino. Uh, I love, 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 love these uh, BF Goodrich uh, G-Force Sport Comp 2 uh, tires. They hook. They're a great, great tire. 
not maximum performance, not maximum grip, but they really, really do a great job. I love them. Um, I've probably had, I don't know, four or five different sets of tires on this car, and, and those are, are by far my favorite. Uh, as most of you guys know, I, I buy pretty much all my wheels and tires from DiscountTireDirect.com. Uh, they not only do they have a great selection, their prices are good, and they mount and balance them and offer wheel hub and lug kits for your vehicle, and they ship them to your door so you can uh, install them yourself. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's my 355 champion of a motor that still needs more work. Yay! Uh, aluminum radiator. I mean, I, I didn't mess around with this build. It's a great car. Uh, I just got a few more things left to do. But that's the freaky story about how I broke my engine. But we did some upgrades. Makes me feel a little bit better about it. And with, with the cam upgrade, it gave me a little bit more power. Uh, but I think the heads are our bottleneck right now. And then getting the, the appropriate carburetor on there is really going to be key. But it's running great. I'm pretty happy with it other than, like I said, the valve seals and heads and carburetor and i'm done i don't even care in the future i might throw a nitrous setup on there i don't know uh i just i've got several cars and i don't know i'm pretty much confident in uh the abilities of this thing it is a lot of fun to drive and i'm gonna just let it ride for a little bit and start working on a couple of other projects that i've got going on so anyway story time with gary dean Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you uh, dig the El Camino. I call it the juice hauler. Thank you guys so much for your trust and support and thanks for watching my videos and listening to me babble. If you got questions, um, send me a message, 813-846-4406 or talk amongst yourself or yourselves in the uh, comments below. Thanks guys for watching, have a great day.